All right, guys. It's Super Sunday, which means I can pretty much do whatever I want on TikTok and film any video I want. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, before I mow the yard, I'm going to go pick some white clover and some dandelions to uh, eat and uh, make some tea. So, I'll keep you updated. So, there aren't many dandelions out since the last time, but I did find a decent sized patch. See? Some over through here. Now be careful with these because they look like dandelions. But as you can see, these don't have any spikes on them. These do. Do not eat these. So, one of my neighbors just came over and uh, told me they've been stealing stuff around here recently. And he said his lawnmower and everything stole, so I'm going to check and make sure mine's all right. Yep, still in here. So is my weed eater and my uh, leaf blower. Now there are a bunch over here, but I'm gonna stay away from here because every time I mow, I find like two or three snakes living over here, so. That should be enough dandelion greens. Looks like we got a pretty decent size patch over here of uh, white clover. Got a little cicada sitting on that one. All right, so we've got Probably enough clover blossoms to make a cup of tea. You need one cup of these. So the first thing we're going to do is boil four cups of water. There's two. And here's four. I don't know why. There must be some kind of food or something on the bottom of there because my burner always smokes. Alright, so I don't have a quart jar, so I'm going to just put the flowers in here. All right, so I've rinsed them off, and into the pot they go. These aren't being cooked. It's just going to sit there because I don't have a cup that big. On to these. Now these I'm going to uh, rinse off real good, because, or let them soak because they got bugs in them. Would you look at that? I told you it was just right about a cup. See, look how dirty that water is. I'm gonna let these soak while that tea uh, steeps for a little while. All right, the water's going to a nice rolling boil. Man, I hope I don't do that. I don't burn myself, but. That'll also kill any bugs that are in there, so. We're gonna have to let this steep for about an hour or two and then I'll come back and cook the dandelions I don't know if you can tell on camera because of all the steam but that water is already turning yellow it's only been in there for not even a minute now you can actually eat these straight off the stem but I much prefer the uh, red clovers these don't have as strong as a taste Red clovers taste like honey. And they say white people don't know how to season their food. Look at all these spices I got. There's way more back there. I will admit though, about half of those are just old containers of garlic powder. I'm to figure out what I want to spice the greens with. Probably go with some Himalayan pink salt, some garlic powder, onion powder maybe. Might try out some dill weed. Just because I like the way it smells. Alright, these have been steeping for about an hour and a half. So I strained them out into here. See, it looks like green tea. We're going to put this in the refrigerator for a little bit while the ice uh, freezes. And then uh, I'm going to start cooking the dandelions. Now there was some stuff floating around in here. You can see there's an ant. I don't know what those other things are. I think they might be seeds or petals or something. But they were floating around here, but I sucked them all up with this little medicine thing. All right, these are really bitter still after uh, soaking them in salt water. So we are going to blanch them. Alright, this smells really bad. But, um... I'm going to be cooking this for probably two or three minutes. Alright, we've got them blanched. 
And as you can see, they're a lot brighter green now. See if that took any of the bitterness away. Oh yeah, they're salty now. It tastes almost like spinach. If you like spinach, you'll like dandelion. All right, we're gonna be using Fisher's bacon. Now, the reason I'm cooking this in bacon grease is because there's not a lot of fat in, uh, well, there's not any fat in dandelion greens. So you've got to uh, cook it in meat fat so that it gets rid of some of that, uh, some of that uh, bitterness and gives it a better flavor. Now I've chopped the bacon up into small pieces because I'm just going to use this for bacon bits. I just want the grease out of it. But I am going to cook a, uh, a couple pieces to go on the side. It's a little more crispy than I usually make it, but that's alright because it's just going to be bacon bits. I'm going to put some onion powder on there. Some minced garlic. And as you can see, it's kind of like fried green beans. And it smells like fried green tomatoes. I did burn them just a little bit, but that's okay. I like a little bit of a burnt taste on my vegetables. Get a couple pieces of bacon. Should have turned that fan on. My uh, my house is full of smoke. And crumble this bacon up in here while we're waiting. These are the only kind of eggs I use. People say they don't taste any different, but they do. Now, if nothing goes wrong, we're going to cook it sunny side up. But my pan is a little bit crooked, the burner is, so. Season it with a little pink salt, a little black pepper. All right, I did flip it once, just to, you know, sear the edge of it, but it looks good. All right, now that that's done, we're going to get some honey, Smoky Mountain honey. Give me a generous amount of it. Just scoop it down in there and stir. Let's try it. That's not bad. And here we have it. I guess you could consider this breakfast. But it's pretty good. All in all, I would recommend making this. Well, I found somebody who really likes it. She doesn't, what? but he does. What? All right, buddy, you, you gonna learn how to use a fork? No, Daddy. What are you doing? No. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there's no more for me. What? What, Daddy? <laughs> the bitterness get to you, Bubby?